Hey everybody, welcome to the beginning of Hectic Plays The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. This game, buddy. This game right here has some story. So, oh, my name. Oh, I forgot about that. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, it's the Wind Waker. Wind Waker. And it's Link. I'm tempted to either call him Twink or Tink. But I don't think Twink has good connotations behind it. So, I'm gonna go Tink. Because I. That's just what I what I call him when I play Smash Bros. So, Twink, uh, Tink it is. There's a normal mode? What? I didn't I didn't get to see that. What does hero mode do? Ah, oh, whatever. <laughs> okay, well anyway. Yeah, as I was saying, uh, this game definitely does have some story behind it. Uh not the actual game in of itself. But like I played this game a long, long time ago. Yeah, just like the story you're saying, long ago. <laughs> Um, I had just finished playing, I think, Ocarina of Time, and I was like, I need another Zelda game. So I went out, um, got myself a GameCube. No, I saw Wind Waker being offered, and I saw Wind Waker. I was like, I need to get that. So, uh, waited a, a couple months, I think, for my, my birthday, and, uh, I, I got my GameCube, and then I got Wind Waker. I tried playing the game, did not enjoy it. Can I skip this? Because I really don't need Yeah, I, I don't need this. Um, and I did not like the game at all. I, I played it for like maybe an hour, maybe two, and did not like it. And then I, and then I remember a friend of mine who loved the game was like, yeah, I'm like halfway through the game. Try playing it again and see if you like it. I was like, yeah, okay. And I tried it, big brother, and I did not like it anymore. Man, those seagulls are very comfortable with humans, jeez. So then, <laughs> fast forward a couple more years, I was working at Amazon and made a made a friend uh, who I told the same story to, and he's like, what, I love that game, you should definitely give it a try. I will buy the game for you to if you give it a, dry, a try again. And he's like, well, if it's up, up to you, man, if you want to, sure. And so yeah, he bought me the game and I've had it ever since. Definitely delayed on playing it a, a long while, but I'm here now. I'm playing it just for him. I'm giving it a second chance. I love almost every single Zelda game I've played so far. I knew you'd be here, so I want to give this one a, a you know a third third chance. I want to see if I can make it good for me. <laughs> this is my favorite spot to give out, gaze out into the sea. When I play with the gulls, I call it uh, Ariels, Ariels. A Ryle's lookout? I think that's a Ryle, right? <laughs> oh, Legend of Zelda fans are going to kill me for that one. So, do you remember what day it is today? You're still half asleep, aren't you? Did you forget? Big Brother, it's your birthday! That's why Grandma has been waiting for you to come back to the house. She's been waiting for a while now. It's a good thing I came to find you. You should probably go home and see what Grandma wants, don't you think? She's adorable. Also, her feet are so tiny. Jesus. Oh, man. I will admit, I did love the art style as a kid. But I also hated it, if that makes sense. Because, although I did play it, I much preferred the way that like Ocarina of Time looked. And then uh, I saw Twilight Princess come out. And I was like, yes! This is what I need. And then Twilight Princess came and I played it and it was amazing. I loved it. Um, this plays pretty much exactly how I, I remember it playing though. That was my Birth of the... Oh! I was about to say, like, yeah, that's my Birth of the Wild Instincts kicking in. I see a, a rock to pick up. I'm going to pick it up. Yeah, now I got a... Oh god, rolling. <laughs> I've been playing so much Breath of the Wild. Like, I passed the game. And then I, um, I replay, I'm starting to replay it all again, for all over. So I gotta relearn the original mechanics again. Hoi, Tank. 
Hey, is it true that if you if you have a little courage and run as fast as you can, that you can jump to that rock out there? Huh? Is it? Is it? Tell me. I don't know. Let's find out. Yee! There you go, buddy. Yup. Huh. Nice. Yeah, this is definitely going to get some getting used to again. Just because I'm so used to Breath of the Wild allowing me to just, like, letting me jump whenever I want. Rolling's definitely a missed mechanic. <laughs> yeah, this game looks a lot better than I remember it being. Oh, you know, of course, it is remastered for the Wii U to look a lot better, but still, you know? Hello. I see many stuff I can get. I'm gonna assume I can't get that until I get my sword. Uh, I don't know about that one, so I'm gonna leave it alone. Let's just let you get the, through the story. Since my friend's been waiting so long, I don't want to dilly daddle too much. I'll, I'll definitely do some side things here and there, but you know, I I, I do want to get through the story as well. Uh, yeah. So for the for the most part, the the first like episode or two, it's definitely gonna be me just like reliving it up. Uh, with everything that's already happened in the story that I went through as a kid playing this game. I've been waiting for you, Tink. Tink. Try these on. Time certainly flies. I can't believe you're already old enough to wear these clothes. Why does she have an accent? Come on, Hector. You got the hero's clothes. They look like they might be a little warm for this weather. Oh my god, what is with Link's face? <laughs> Why does he look so sad? Don't look so disappointed, dear one. Just try them on. Today is a day to celebrate. It is the day that you become the same age as the young hero spoken of in all the legends. You only have to wear them for one day. So don't look so down. Be proud, child. In the, in the olden days, this was the day boys were finally considered to be men. They were taught the ways of the sword to prepare them for battle with their enemies. What is this, Pokemon logic? Ten, you're ten years old. You, you can fight the world now. Okay. But we don't live in such an age any longer. Our ways are the ways of peace. Nowadays, I suppose Orca is the only one on the island who still knows anything about swordplay. Hanging the family shield on the wall as decoration is another tradition that has been carried down from those days. Wow, that was a really quick change. Oh, there are photos! Huh, nice. Does all this make sense to you? Yeah, kinda. Is that nice, Tink? They suit you perfectly. A perfect fit. Well, tonight I'm going to invite the whole town over for your birthday party. So, I better start getting ready, shouldn't I? Your grandma is going to make your favorite soup for you tonight. Mm -hmm. I just know you're looking forward to it. Now, go to your sister O'Reilly. Okay. Hi, New Year's. <laughs> oh, man. You, do you think it would freak my grandma out if I just did this? No? Okay. I guess she's used to that. Oh, buddy. This has been... This is gonna be quite the adventure. Uh, please? <laughs> Are you telling me I can't go through a bush? Okay, so my sister... She's probably still out there, right? I think so. I think I see her up there. Oh, wait! Yeah, there's a little water thing showing me I only have so much stamina. Okay. Ah! Jesus! <laughs> okay, well, immediately, you can see I I'm not quite used to this, but okay, I'll get around to it. I definitely missed the jumping mechanics while climbing ladders, but Tink does a good job of climbing them anyway. Pretty fast. That's a lot of seagulls there. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna keep calling her while. Ah, oh, big brother! Did Grandma make that outfit for you? <laughs> but wow, you look like you'd be way too hot in those clothes. I guess they're pretty neat though. So anyway, Tink, can you close your eyes and hold your ha hold out your hand just for a second? I'm gonna give you the my most treasured belonging, but just for one day. Happy birthday! You got the telescope. This is your sister's most precious belonging. Treasure it dearly. 
set it to blah 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 so well do you like it I'm letting you borrow this special gift just because you're my big brother aren't you lucky <laughs> oh why don't you try it out right now try looking over at our house from here okay uh, yikes <laughs> oh my god uh, set it to X I guess hey what's that t what hey what's that Tink, are you looking at the red post box? Red post box. Zoom in. Okay. What? Oh, I remember this now. Yeah. The sky. Look up into the sky. I I didn't even properly look at it, but all right. Oh, that's, uh, ah, oh, what's her name? Damn. How much did you miss? Not very much at all. I literally just started the game, like, maybe 10 minutes ago. This is the very beginning of the game. All I've talked about was, like, the, the little mini story behind the game and uh, how I got around to getting this game and why I'm playing it in the first place, despite hating it for, like, so long. <laughs> Tara, that's her name. Right? By all rights, she should be dead. She fell down head first into a forest. Well, we'll just let her decompose. No? Okay. That girl fell into the forest. She needs your help. But it's too dangerous for you to go in there, to go in there without something you can use to defend yourself with. Okay. Something to fight it off with. Okay. Well, I mean, I, I know that, um... Can I just... Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> I know that I can get, like, the shield from my house. I don't know where I can get the sword from. That's something that definitely escapes me. Booger Boy is following me. Ew. Get away. Oh, this camera speed is kind of slow. Oh, just in the water. Okay. Yes, let me talk to you. What was that noise? It was awful. You better return home quickly. It's not like that can only mean me trouble. You know what I do? A troll came my way. I throw rocks to fight it off. That's exactly what they did. <laughs> what? They threw a rock at it without the use of A or B. They just hurled it. You? What's the matter? What's happened? Okay. Um. Can I grab the shield? I guess not. Uh, something to defend myself with. Well, they said Orca's the only one around here who can use a sword, so... I, I guess I'll try asking him. I don't even know where the heck he is. Probably the big house here? Hello. Yeah, I, I know how to talk to people, buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I know, I know. Okay, are you in here? I guess so. Oh god. Okay. Uh, you have an urgent look about you. Has something happened? Whatever it is from the look on your face, I suspect it is no laughing matter. What say you, Tink? Ah, have you come for some serious destruction in the way of the sword? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, he gave me the sword. Okay, cool. Ooh. Yup. What? I did. Yeah, I'm pressing only B. What do you want? What? Oh, right. I'm not supposed to lock on to him. There we go. Wow. Really? God dang it. Wait, why is this not working? Okay, sure. I, I don't know what happened there, but sure. 
vertical slice. Okay. See, now this I can do. Uh, to thrust. Ooh, I like that. What? Oh, I guess I was too close to the wall and kept messing it up. There we go. Yeet. I'm trying to do the, the rotate. There we go. Parry attack? Ooh. Now that is definitely like one of the cooler skills from Wind Waker that I remember. Parry attacks were amazing. Along with the ones that they did it over in, uh... Uh, what's it called? In, uh, Twilight Princess. Jump attack. Okay, I, I didn't read what he wanted, so I had to attack to get it. Uh, I'm gonna... Yeet! Yeet! What, what did you just do right there, Nubi? Did you send an ad out to everybody to, to join or something? What? What's going on there? I have no idea what you just did, but all right. That was a fine display. And yet, I sense a certain anxiousness in the sword you hold, an eagerness that goes far beyond the mere desire to be wielded in the field of battle. I do not know what has happened, but I have faith in you. Somehow, I doubt you, you, you will misuse that sword. You may have it, Tink. I give it freely. Take the blade with you. Did I just sheathe my sword to take it out and then hold it up? Okay. Since the olden days, the sword has been used to fend off evil. Its blade is infused with the desire to become strong and righteous. Be strong, Tink. Who are you? Why do you know so much? I'm gonna destroy your pots. Fuck you. What that? The Knight's Crest? Uh... If I come across ten of these and show you them... What they are and what they do. Wow. I mean, I found yours! I broke all your shit, goodbye. Fuck. <laughs> Okay, well now I got the sword, so let's go over and save that random ass girl, I guess. Wait, before I do, I forgot. Gotta get that rupee. You right, you right. Oops, I almost just stabbed you, sorry. Oh my god. That looks really weird. Okay, well. Uh, how do I get there? Probably that bridge over there, Hector? I don't care. Just swim. Just keep on swimming. Just keep swimming. Yeah, now that I'm playing... Oh, hello, pirate ship over there. It's just kind of waiting on us and the townspeople aren't reacting to this at all. Um... Now that I'm playing this game again, you know what? Maybe maybe I was a little bit too harsh on the art style. Because, you know what? I actually rather like it. No entry. This time won't, this time won't stop me. Because I can't read it. Especially if it's cut up. Okay, I guess Grashes doesn't give anything either. Alright. Okay. Ooh, a heart. That looks like a heart. Is that just me? That looks like a heart. So, there's an area up here that is not the way I'm supposed to go, so obviously I'm going to go explore it. Duh. Ooh, monies. No, please. Thank you. Wait, is it coming from the flowers? Huh. Cool. I thought it was going to be just a grass thing, but alright. Oh god, don't fall off. 
All right, cool. Okay, I'm probably already a little bit too rupee hungry, but I, I, I'm not gonna lie, I do miss just being able to cut the grass and have rupees fall out. Not an experience I've had ever since I started playing Breath of the Wild. <laughs> oh, so you're telling me she just conveniently got stabbed through in the shirt? And it's just been hanging there all this time? Alright, I'll, I'll believe you for now, I guess. Please, you can make that. Thank you. Uh. Oh, hello. So we just casually have monsters waiting around in our town. Okay, sure. Come on, let me counter you. Let me parry you. Excuse me? Fuck you. Okay, the sound effects? I don't remember them being the way they are. That was actually kind of cool. You know what? Maybe I was wrong about this game. Ooh, heart. Uh, what what that? I know I I know I need bomb for it, but what that? Fairy fountain site. Uh, I I don't, I don't what? Wait, hold on. This spot marks the remains of an ancient fairy fountain, the legendary hero who was said to come here in, uh, after battle so the fairies could ease his weariness. It was also said that whoever met with the great fairy who lived here was blessed with great fortune, so it came to known as the Fountain of the Fortune Goddess. Well, this game directly takes place after Wind Waker, and I don't remember any fairies being on an island. Yep. Hmm. Oh. So enemies are just casually dropped in here? What kind of island are we living on? I love the spin attack animation. I, I'll give them. I'll give them that. Oh, she's up. Okay, I, 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 I'm gonna admit, I do like the weird quirkiness of like how the animations look. Wow, what's with that get up? Well, whatever. So, where am I? Oh, that's right, that giant bird came and... Oh, Miss! Miss Tetra! Oh, okay, so it wasn't Terra, it was Tetra. Like Tetra car from Persona. Oh, oh, thank goodness you're safe. When I saw you get dropped on this summit, I thought for sure you'd... Summit? So that bird dropped me on top of a mountain? Well, that wasn't nice of it. Yeah, c really? Huh. Don't just stand there, let's go. Time to repay back our debt to that bird in full. But, miss, what about this boy? Don't worry about him. Come on. I mean, if I was able to come up here by myself, like, I would hope that you guys wouldn't worry about me. All of us, I can take care of myself. Big brother, eh, what? Oh, right. Right. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh, it's that one Pokemon that flies you from the like the first five generations of Pokemon. Yeah, well, coming in your window, snatching your people up. Oh, I remember this. Yeah, Link, what were you planning on doing, buddy? Stupid kid! Get a hold of yourself! She's gone! There's nothing you can do! <laughs> what? You want to come with us on our ship? Do you understand what you're asking? We're pirates! You know, pirates! The terror of the seas? What do we get out of bringing some helpless little kid with us? I'll get you- I'll tell you what we'll get. A headache. I know how you must feel with your sister having been kidnapped and all, but that doesn't really have anything to do with us, now does it? And how do you figure that? Oh. Hello, Rito. 
Just who are you? Where do you get off butting into someone else's conversation? Please, all I mean to say is that if you if that if you big bad pirates hadn't come to this quiet little island, that poor little girl would have been snatched away by that bird. I just what do you mean by that? Just be quiet for a moment and I'll tell you. Oh, oh, the Rito are sassy in this game. Now, as my work entails delivering letters, I spend much of my time traveling amongst the different islands, and as a result, I hear many things. Haven't any of you heard that young girls have been getting kidnapped lately from all regions of the Great Sea? No matter. You've, whether, whether you've heard it or not, that seems to be the case. Young girls with long years, like yours, have been getting kidnapped, never to be seen again. Is your Wi-Fi shitty, or is my frame dropping? God dang it. Yeah, I'm looking at it right now, and my Wi-Fi is definitely pooping out. Again, I've already reset my, my modem like three times. I cannot believe this is happening. So, yikes. Ah, it's okay. I'll fix it in a second. <laughs> 